Hey everyone, so in the last episode we added a database and in this episode we want to sort of abstract this database and put it inside a repository. So what I mean by that is that we don't want to bring in a context in ev every time we create a new controller and basically put all the functionality in here. We want the database for a few functions, so we don't need access to all the functionality that it provides with this context. So what we want is to add a database, add a post, remove a post maybe, edit a post, and get all the posts or view a specific post. So to provide this functionality, we use a repository pattern. So if you go into the data folder, shift F2, and uh, let's say repository slash, and uh, let's call it repository, repository, let's see, yes. Ooh, repository, hard word to spell. Yeah, let's copy this and uh, let's make an interface. So remove the copy and just put an I in front of repository. Okay, now open it and make sure you have an I here as well. Interface, public interface. Okay, there we go. So the interface, uh, the, the I is basically a convention, convention for interfaces, same as sometimes if you have a Boolean, you would uh, put a small B in front of the variable, or if you have a double, you put a small D in front of the variable name just to sort of make it recognizable. So I just stands for interface. So in this interface, we want to expose what the actual mechanisms does. So like a vending machine, you know, you can just get a Coke, you can either get a water or Pepsi, whatever you drink, but you don't actually get access to all the functionality and the machine inside, all the gears inside the vending machine. So basically, here what we want is we want to get a post. So let's get a post and we'll get it by ID, right? So we don't want public here. It's an interface. Okay, so lists of posts, get all posts and void. Remove post and void. Actually, let's make these two booleans because we want to basically say, all right, has the post been removed or not? And add post. Okay, so when we add a post, we want to submit a post, or removing a post. All it requires is really an ID. And updating a post, uh, same as that a post. We just want to give it a post. Okay. So now our repository has to inherit from I repository, like so. Okay, so you see the squiggly line, and basically it needs to implement functionality for these uh, functions. So. Let's go ahead and put them here. Okay, so let's now take this context from here. Actually, yeah, just leave it here, but still bring it in here. Repository, replace home controller with the repository. App DB context, all right, it's present. Okay, so we want to take this out, however and put it in here boom okay uh, another thing we just want to separate uh, uh, separate action for safe changes okay so boom so do 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 let's quickly implement this so control dot look async task so now let's do if let's put a wait and if this is more than zero then 
return true, return false. Okay, remove unimplemented. So this is what we're gonna call to save changes. Okay, so uh, same as before. Oh wait, sorry. All right, so this is all we need to add a post. So actually, I don't like this boolean here. Let's change this and uh, let's change these. So basically, because we have a boolean here, we don't need. This is the point where we try to save, and if something goes wrong here, we can catch it. Catch the error. But yeah. This is how you add a post. So get all posts. We literally want to return from our context. Let's get posts dot to list. So we just get all of our posts and return them. Okay, so here we want to grab the first or default. These are called link queries. If they don't show up, make sure you have the namespace using system dot link. All right, so first our, our default, and in here we want to pass a function, which basically says, right, we take a single post in the, the whole table, we check its ID, if it's equal to the ID, the first one that's equal, return it. Okay, so remove a post. Uh, we want to ctx post dot remove. Okay, so and in here we want to get post id. Okay, uh, update a post. Literally, all, all we want to do is posts dot update. Uh, I'll explain what this does once we actually try to update a post, but basically all uh, it just starts retracking the object. It doesn't actually write anything to the database. You got to remember that these don't actually do anything to the database. This is what commits the changes. This is just sort of creates a track of changes. Okay, so now we got a repository. Let's make make it available to our uh, or program. You do so by writing services, add transient, and in here we want to say the, uh, the interface that we implemented and its implementation, so repository. Okay, so now let's bring this in to our home controller, our repository, boom. Boom, control dot enter, bring it in. Let's rename this to repo. Oh, to quickly rename these variables, you have to press control R, control R. Okay, so press control R twice, or you hold control and press R twice. Okay, so there we go. Let's take this repo object and add post. Okay, so we added a post, and now if await repo dot save changes async so if they have saved redirect so else you can see this one's flashing here because if this is not hit it's not returning anything and we have to return something okay so else return and let's just return the same view with the post and we'll just add a message later on but Surely this will never fail. Well, fingers crossed. Uh, let's run this and see what happens. Do -do -do. All right, there we go. Uh, let's quickly put a breakpoint right here. Let's type in another one, another, another, another one. Stuff. Let's submit this. So there's our data. Let's press F11 to step into the function. All right, so now we're here, F10 to proceed. Okay, cool, it steps in. And 
before you execute this one. Let's take a look at the database. So databases, my blog, tables, posts, view data, view datum. You can see that it's not in here, right? So this is what I mean by when it's in here, it's just creating a track. And once it actually runs CTX save changes, that's when it commits all the changes that you have made. All right, so let's press F10. Refresh this. And here it is. You can see the ID value is automatically incremented. And here's our post and the time it's been created. So let's carry on running that. And we're back at the home page. So this is it for this episode. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, again, if you like the series, subscribe, like. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them all. For now, see you in the next episode.